that potentially could be a diamond true rax rocky mountain elk a couple weeks ago we were fortunate enough to get a giant diamond rocky mountain elk but a week before that i had yet to see one until this happens oh my god look at what we just found that's the first ever five medium rocky mountain elk i've ever seen he's absolutely huge and he's coming this direction here it is early in the morning and i actually spotted him over here he was drinking well the first time i saw him was yesterday when we were hunting for truac uh mule deer and i jumped up what looked to be a huge bull way up in these hills over here we don't need night vision anymore but i saw a massive rack on him and i went over and tracked him down and i saw he was a five medium and then i thought okay we got to figure out where this thing is and i couldn't find them for the life of me finally i decided to change the time to early early in the morning four o'clock and we actually spotted him right over there on the other side of this lake at uh about 4 30 in the morning but anyways that's gonna be him right there he's kind of over across i don't exactly know where he's gonna go when i first saw him he was over there and i couldn't find a zone anywhere so yeah i really don't know where he's gonna go the only opportunity i know we have to be able to get him is to be able to figure out where he's gonna cut back across is he gonna stop there oh you know what i just realized we have the elk collar on us i totally just realized that that's not the elk collar um but we have it potentially we could get this giant bull to come in Potentially. We have a perfect win, so there's really no reason why he wouldn't want to come in. But a lot of times they don't really respond to the calls very well, so we don't know if he's going to come in or if he's not going to come in. But we'll certainly try. We will certainly try. And meanwhile, I want to make sure we have our 600s equipped in here too. Well, it kind of looks like he's actually coming in. Oh my god, I think he's actually going to come into the call. He's only 100 yards out, and he's kind of heading this direction. The way that he's going right now, he should come over somewhere to, like, right about here, which will put him at about 50 yards away, and that could potentially give us a shot. Still a little bit early in the morning, but we have our light on so we can see a little bit better here. Yeah, this just might work out. He's right there. I didn't really think he would come too much closer than that. 90 yards away. That's a little bit too far. Look at the size of the rack on him, though. That is one incredible bull. Come on. I'm one stubborn one, too, if you ask me. Oh, my God. He's going to feed right there. It looks like he's gonna feed right there. He's 80 yards away, and it looks like he's gonna feed right there. So the good thing is, well, we can see him really good. We could potentially take that shot, but, uh-oh. We got a mountain lion coming in. We got a mountain lion coming in. He's 80 yards out. I feel really comfortable. We're gonna get zeroed in for 75. Hey, a perfect double lung shot. Come on, come on. He's down. He's down. That was an absolute giant Rocky Mountain Elk. We gotta get over there and go take a look. Oh my God. Yeah, for some reason he didn't want to come into the call, but luckily enough, we had the hawk edge bow. We can go for, you know, like an 80 yard, sometimes a hundred yard shot if we have to, but what an incredible bull that is right there. Oh my God. He went down in a really cool spot. Hey, hello, Gobbler. A really cool spot as well. So let's actually take a picture of this huge... Oh, the light just went out. That was weird. The light doesn't stay on when I took my camera out. What the heck? Anyways. Well, he actually looks better without the camera. <laughs> okay, let's pick him up. Let's pick him up. He's a gold of 465 gold. How is that thing a gold? 
I mean, he looks massive. He doesn't really have that tall of tines, but huge main beams. 20 points off from being a diamond, huh? I still think that he's actually our biggest Rocky Mountain Elk so far. Man. What a perfect shot though. 84 yards out and just absolutely smoked that bull. We made a pretty good choice on coming to Silver Ridge because that potentially could be a Diamond Truax Rocky Mountain Elk. And I don't really know what the estimate needs to be for him to be Diamond, but he's pretty big. He's definitely pretty big. So if we turn broadside, we're going to try and take him with a 30 odd six here. All right, we finally got his attention here. Come on, turn back. That should work. It's gonna run a ways, but... <sighs> I should take him down. Did I actually hit that thing twice? Huh. I thought we might have been a little bit too high. And I kind of realized that we we're a little bit scared pretty close to the skull but apparently we just got another vital hit the thing is with only one vital hit and the 30 odd six they run a pretty good ways that's why I wanted to shoot twice a couple more good bulls over there I think that's actually the same bull that was in this herd oh here he is down here he is down right here oh he went down in an awesome spot it's just uh well he went down with his antlers in a cool spot, but the fact that he's in the brush is not really so cool. Anyways, let's pick him up. He is a diamond. Oh, I'm so glad the second shot missed the skull. Oh, look at that. We dropped low like three inches, luckily. I kind of was a little bit hesitant. I mean, I thought the first shot looked perfect, but I honestly thought we might need a backup and uh, we probably should have just trusted that first shot. But a 481 diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. And our second diamond Rocky Mountain Elk on Silver Ridge Peaks. 481.4 is minimum. He barely made diamond. But hey, he definitely made diamond and that's all that counts. Welcome back to our trophy lodge and I decided to put our diamond Rocky Mountain Elk right in here in our True Rack Muley's room. He looks really good up there and he scored 481.9. He's actually our second Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. And we'll have him right next to our Diamond Truax Muley. But yeah, overall, that was a pretty cool hunt. And we ended up getting a Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.